Well, YouTubers, um, got a few clips to throw together here today to show you. Um, what we've been doing over Christmas, Boxing Day, and uh, the last couple of days. Um, I'm going to start off with what it was like here on Christmas Day and Boxing Day. It was like the apocalypse. Um, really bad. Water everywhere. So uh, I've checked these clips out. We've even added some music just so it's not too boring. So here we go. Have a look at this, what it was like down here um, on Christmas Day and Boxing Day. absolutely sucked. The good news about Christmas Day is my grandson was born at 4.21 in the morning. He weighed £8.1 ounce and we named him Luke. Now, I don't know whether to call him Luke Skywalker or Jesus Christ. We've not decided which one yet. If he's a cheeky bugger, he's going to be Jesus Christ. What are you doing now? Other than that, it's uh, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> um, then on the, the Boxing Day, my nephew um, had a little lad as well. He weighed in at um, eight pound four. I haven't got a picture of, um, of, of um, Jackson, but I have got a picture of um, Luke. So here's a picture of me and Luke. I had a bit. Of a so yeah, we've got a couple more additions to the family. Um, on Boxing Day as well, it was my grandson's birthday. So she's got one on Christmas Day and one on Boxing Day. Hey, can't make it up. I do my lad. He was born December 5th, the same day as me. December 5th. Can't make it out. Most of the family like to have the babies around Christmas. I don't know why. But they do. Um, bit weird. They don't do it on purpose, I assure you. <laughs> Anyhow, um, we come down here to, we come down here a couple of days ago. We come to empty the um, compost bin. And we've been sticking all the compost into the... See the greenhouse behind me? Well, there's the, the first um, bed that you come to, that's where we've been putting it. Now, I'm going to show you a few clips, and in these clips, uh, the first clip, you're going to see me putting some horse manure on top, but I don't put the horse manure right to the end. The reason why is because I've put chicken manure where I didn't put the horse manure. And then what we do, we top dress it with um, all this compost. So, yeah, check these videos out, guys. There's no sound. We might add a bit of music while we, while you do, while we were showing them the other clips. But, yeah, check them out nonetheless. This is what we did.
So we've got most of the um, most of the compost out. The compost been empty now, as you can just saw there. So what we've been doing, well, we've not been stood around doing nothing. We've been doing other videos. Um, the roof, for instance, the, we had a leak in the shed here. Well, we've taken care of that. Well, I'm not going to show you that one, this clip. We're going to do a different clip for that. Uh, we had a bit of a rat problem as well. We're going to show you another video on that as well. So we've got a few videos to come up on these. Um, so what else we've been doing? Well, we've been um, bagging on them. I've been after these, um, they're like a grow, grow, grow um sheds little poly things about stand about this side angle plastic zips up and um, well we we've, we've been after one on ebay and they're about 30 quid well i'm not paying 30 quid for nobody um, i don't care who they are um b and q doing them for was doing them for about 27 pound for the four tier ones and about 21 pound for the two tier well there i was in that place what closing down and apparently they don't close down until the 23rd of january guys that's the one in stretford uh, and the one in swinton so there's still three more weeks to go for bargains anyhow i'm i'm, I'm there looking for some water um, looking at these water butts in fact let's show you the water butts now because yes guess what we went and bought two so i'll check these out guys oh well, guys just paid five pound each for them two water butts and um, now Believe it or not, um, they was 65 quid each. The only thing it hasn't got is the lid and a tap. Well, you can get the taps in B&Q for a few quid. So that's what's going to happen. We're going to have one for the, the new shed, what's going to sit here, and one for that shed there. So we're going to have a matching pair. In fact, there is two more water butts there, and I'm contemplating going and getting the other two. To, to do the greenhouse as well I don't know yet there's a lot of faffing about uh, we'll have to wait and see but uh, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll show you the prices they've still got them on here clearance £65 down to 5 quid. in my book a bargain belters aren't they um, the only thing is I've got to build lids for them and put some taps on them. They're going, one's going on the, the greenhouse here and one's going on the, not the greenhouse, the, the shed here and the, the other shed what I'm building um, over this side here, that's where that one's going. Um, so we bought a couple of them and uh, blow me, there they were, what I've been after, some of these um, little poly grow um, frames or what have you, I forget what they're called now, but anyhow, here's a, here's a clip with them in to show you what they are, I'll get the name right eventually what we're looking at here is a couple of grow houses now I've got another one of these um, this two tier grow house, uh, they're normally £21 in, in B&Q, on the internet they might be a little bit dearer but intents and purposes uh, 20 quid reduced to 4 quid uh, then I bought two of these 4 tier grow houses paid £5 each for them ok, the wrapping's not the the best uh, but <laughs> it's not the wrapping I'm after it's the, the gear inside it and the brand new uh, we are actually bought uh, a fleece cover for one of these uh, 4 tier grow houses and we even bought a spare um, cover as well I mean the cover was two quid, this was uh, two quid. So we've not done too bad actually. Um, probably cost me a total of uh, 20 quid for a lot of them. Uh, the other the other one of these um, thingies is there, inside here. So yeah, we've got a couple of uh, grow tunnels so we can start um, planting as um, seedlings out seed well we've already got a few started but we can start doing some more and this thing here yeah, this fleece is ideal for for them them cold january february mornings i'm not too sure we can put the fleece over it and put the uh, the plastic over the top of that as well so it's got like a double skin on it um but yeah well, we've, we've been looking for these all over the place and uh, there they were there was uh, the last in stock and we bought them, so I'm well chuffed with them. So yeah, we bought um, we bought three of them. We bought two four tiers and a two tier with a couple of um, spare covers. 
I think we paid £21 for all three, so we got a bargain. I've not set them up yet, but we're going to set one up in this greenhouse, the front greenhouse, and one in the back greenhouse, and we're going to start some seeds off. So that just brings me to the, the last thing is um, I've been looking around for my chilies, the, the five hottest chilies. We found two, we found um, the, well, we got the Brat Jolska, that's the one what, um, just for fun Tim sent me. And we've also got, um, I think it's a California Reaper. I might be wrong. I'm going to post the, the five up anyhow. There's three I haven't got yet and I can't find them. It's doing me head in. But there are others, otter ones, uh, hot ones, but not as hot. So we might end up having to get a couple of them. I don't know yet. There's every chance we'll get what we want. But I'm going to po post up the ones I'm after anyhow. So if any of you guys know where I can get them from, drop me a, um, a message and let me know and I can chase after them and get myself some. So that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the update. I say it might be a bit windy out here at the moment. We are testing to see if this is directional and we are in full HD so um, hopefully you're going to get a little bit better picture quality. Um, we're going to add a few bells and whistles as well um, to the, the start up as well and might even do something with the finish yet, we don't know. We just have to wait and see. As time goes by we're going to get these videos looking a bit better. and. Um, once again, thanks everybody for subscribing to the channel. It's uh, great having you all on here and uh, listen to all your comments and um, all your good wishes. Um, as you always say, right hand corner down here, where are we? Here, uh, you see a little chicken. If you want to subscribe, give it a click. If you don't, don't have to, as you always say. Um, so, we're, it's not New Year yet, but I'm going to wish everybody an Happy New Year and I uh, hope everybody has a fantastic new year and I hope you get what you want guys and I hope it's uh, a lot better than it has been this year for most of you so from Weasel Allotments Happy New Year